2009 Canadian Business Leadership Forum. I'm joined by Ian Clifford, who is the founder and CEO of Zen Motor Company. Uh, you make uh, electric vehicle drivetrains. That's what you're developing uh, right now. Can you just quickly give a snapshot of uh, where your where your company is right now? Um, I know that you at one point made low speed low speed vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, I want to sort of have uh, a sense of how your company has evolved. Sure. So we we still do. Uh, have a low speed vehicle offering and uh, that's a, a urban core neighborhood type vehicle that uh, is a business that ultimately we will transition out of. Our focus now is exclusively on the development of highway capable drive train solutions, mm -hmm. uh, a drive that we call Zenergy Drive, uh, which incorporates uh, the energy storage technology that's being developed in Texas by eStore, mm -hmm. um, which will then give uh, some very, very uh, unique characteristics to electric drive for, for electric vehicles. So that's been our focus and, and we're heavily, heavily uh, down the path of, of commercialization of those solutions. It, where are things with eStore? Because I understand that was they were they had sort of committed to it being commercially ready by 2009. Is that yeah. Right? So, but the end of this year, uh, eStore is still. I mean, they've stated that that they they anticipate to have commercial verification uh, of the technology. So, uh, hopefully, a, a adequate demonstration to the world that this is. Uh, exactly as claimed, uh, and it is obviously it's a hugely disruptive energy storage technology. So Eastor wants to get it right. I mean, then they want to get the announcement uh, out in such a way. I believe that uh, that it'll it'll have the impact that uh, that we all hope and intend. I, uh, briefly, what's the technological leap that's happening with Eastor that's going to make electric vehicles commercially viable? Uh, whereas I, I think before they they were considered not to be. Yeah, the challenge, uh, the challenge, of course, is the energy storage and the and the technology that's incorporated. Uh, currently, we're seeing you know lithium ion chemical battery type technologies that face some very significant shortcomings. The weight, the uh, cost is a huge issue. Uh, toxicity is a big issue. Um, cyclability is probably one of the most significant issues, and that is that you know chemical batteries, as we all know from our cell phones and from our laptops, they wear out. So when you've got a very, very expensive uh, lithium ion battery in an automobile and it's, you know, it's got a useful life of three, four, five years and suddenly you're facing a $20,000 replacement, it makes, your, it makes your business models quite challenging. So eStore represents a, a much, uh, a, really a, a significant change in technology. It's not a chemical battery, it's a solid state energy storage device similar to an ultra capacitor. Uh, but with very, very new materials, um, materials that have never been uh, seen before. And that's thus the disruptive nature of the breakthrough is that it is such a significant uh, material sciences breakthrough. Uh, and it, it has all of the benefits that come along with that and it's very, very low weight, low volume, uh, very, very low cost to produce. And, uh, and ultimately, it's a permanent energy storage device. So in the initial laboratory environments, they were getting a million cycles without degradation. So we're talking about a permanent battery. So you put that in the context of an automotive industry that is challenged with chemical batteries, and you say, well, we can solve those problems for you um, with this technology, with our drive system. Uh, you know, here it is. And, and there's a huge amount of interest. But everyone, Rightly so. Is I mean, it's a wait and see moment. Uh, you know, right now everyone needs to see commercial viable proof uh, that eStore is meeting the claims, and then right. we believe there's going to be a massive uh, shift towards uh, towards their technology solution and, and our energy drive solution as a result. I mean, I, it's a bit of a strange situation for Zen because you're uh, a publicly traded company, um, but and you are sort of hinging a lot on this uh, incredibly private secretive development that's going on sure. uh, with, with eStore. Um, how do you, uh, I, you know, how, how, how is this going to play out for, for, for Zen in terms of how much have you hinged on eStore getting it just right? I mean, how much is, how much is relying on eStore getting the battery, you know, just the way that it needs to be to, to meet all those expectations? Well, our Zen Energy business model is very much built around eStore. Um, as the differentiating and disruptive technology. So this is very much a technology-related story. Uh, and, and I would argue that the success of Zenergy uh, is dependent on the success of, of eStore commercializing. Uh, interestingly, um, you know, the, 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 the level of breakthrough, the level of energy density, the level, all the, all the benefits that eStore represents are so significantly 
higher than anything claimed uh, in any other energy storage technology today uh, that it, it would be such a significant breakthrough and change um, that we believe that, once again, there'll be a wholesale adoption of uh, and, and focus on, on our solution. Is, is it a matter of eStore doing everything completely right? Um, or if they get kind of 80% there, is that, is that good enough? Is there, is well, if you're 80%, you're still, you know, you're still orders of magnitude above anything in the chemical battery field. Uh, you know, we have every indication that they're going to they're going to hit their targets and and uh, and deliver to us to our specification. There's no indication that they're uh, that they're uh, that they're swaying from that uh, from that objective. Um, however, if there is for some reason it's it's slightly less energy density. Um, and you say 80%, it still orders a magnitude above anything else. I'm hoping it'll be the 120% as opposed to the 80%, but at this point right now, we have a very, very clear specification in terms of what they're delivering to us, and, and we're confident that they'll be able to deliver that. It's a fascinating story. Thanks very much for coming. Well, thank us. you.